this message is for Jim Carrey. Hi, Jim. Um, Emma Stone? Come on, man. You and I should be having nasty sex like 30 times a week already. I get you, Jim. I see that you're just loving life. I know that you just love to laugh, which is weird to some people, but not to me. Um, if I weren't so fat and impoverished and living thousands and thousands of miles away from you, I'd already be wearing a vial of your butt sweat around my neck. That's love, James. And let me tell you, the list of men that I, you know, like to have sex with is a pretty short one, and you're right up there on it. Um, it it's pretty much just you, Wilford Brimley, and Christopher Lee. You're right below Christopher Lee. One second. We're out of dry cat food. You're going to have to steal a can from Grandma's house. Believe me, she won't miss it. She just won like a thousand dollars on a lottery scratch-off ticket. Look, if she says, if she notices and she says anything, I'll tell her to suck my ass while I'm shitting and blowing her fucking head apart with Dad's rifle. Sorry about that, Jim. I, I usually don't um, talk to women like that, but it's my grandma. Okay, she deserves it. The most cold-hearted bitch in history. Seriously. You know, when Christopher Reeve died, all she had to say about it was, I never felt sorry for his ass. He was a Clinton lover. The guy was Superman. He was... He was paralyzed. I swear, for, for all of this shit that we put up with from her, she should be fucking giving us foot rubs and doing our taxes. She, she should be cleaning out our septic tank with her goddamn tongue. <sighs> I am sorry, Jim. Um, every time I think of Grandma, I just I go bonkers. But look, if we were to fuck... You wouldn't even have to talk to her. She lives like a mile from my parents' house. Hell, we could even make love at her house. She's not even there most of the time. Every single day, she drives to McDonald's and eats a double quarter pounder with cheese in the parking lot. She just sits there in her blazer for hours, just chewing slowly and, and watching people come and go. It's like, get a hobby, you fat, worthless maggot, you know? <sighs> anyway, you and I were meant for each other. Right, let's pass on our genetics. I'm not sure who will carry the child, but I don't even think you need a woman for that anymore. Just a petri dish and, and our semen mingle and, and like a scientist to kind of babysit the cultures until they're too big and they're actually like a baby sitting in the petri dish and you have to take them home with you. Science is getting crazy, man. Um, in closing, Emma Stone, Destined for Obscurity, Josh Destructor, the Professor of Pleasure. You can call me that or Honey Balls. <laughs>